QuickBooks Pro Desktop 2021. Restore backup file. Let's get into it with Intuit's QuickBooks Pro Desktop 2021. Here we are on our desktop. We have a backup file containing the data that we will be restoring. And then we're going to use that data to go through the navigation part of the course. Remember that we're not going to be starting a new company file in the first half of the course. We will do so in the second half of the course. In the first half of the course, we're going to use the data file to help us with the navigation process. We're going to use this data file, which is going to be the data file that we will construct actually from scratch, creating a new company file in the second half of the course. So if you want to start a new company file and jump right into starting a new company file and doing the data input process, then you wanna to jump to the second half of the course. If you wanna practice the navigation process, which is I think where you should start if you're a beginner to this, then you wanna be here in the first half, restore this data file. This will help us to navigate and see where we will be going as we enter the data in the second half of the course. If you do not have access to this backup file, then you may use your own data file as we go through the navigation because we're not gonna be entering new data. The key is that you want something in your QuickBooks file. You don't want it to be blank. It would be nice to have the same data file, but you, you want some data in there so you can practice generating reports. You can also use the data file sample file that we saw last time that is provided by QuickBooks to have data to help you through the navigation process, which will be the first half of the course. Now, as we open this file, we wanna understand the types of forms, the types of uh, items that we'll be using within the QuickBooks program. In other words, QuickBooks, remember, is the program. You can compare this to like a Microsoft Word program in that when we open up the program, that doesn't necessarily mean we're opening up the, the document related to it, or in this case, the QuickBooks file. So if I open up the program, then I need to link it to something else, which is going to be a QuickBooks file that will that'll be similar to like a Word document in comparison to Microsoft Word that will then be used to, to uh, see the data within the file. The one more step within QuickBooks, however, is that once we have our data file, we could also make backup files. Those backup files will help us to not lose the data, and they also have other uses we've discussed in prior presentations. Uh, so they're really nice to use. The backup file then is a QBB file. It has an extension, in other words, of QBB. You cannot open the backup file and read the backup file. So if I just tried to open the backup file by double clicking on it, then I wouldn't be able to open it. QuickBooks would say, I can't open the backup file. Uh, however, a QBB file, I mean a QBW file, like the one we set up last time in our sample file, like this one, is an actual data file. This data file, I could just simply double click on it as I typically would, would when using Word for a Word document, simply double clicking on the document, it would then open Word and then open the program. If I double clicked on this file, it would open up QuickBooks and open up that data file. Most people do not do that. They don't double click on the data file, the QBW file, but rather open the program and then locate within the program the, the file that they're trying to open. Now, once we have the data file, we'll typically make up backup files. Now, this is an a step beyond our analogy of Microsoft Word and the data file because we want to have another backup file that will be a compressed file. There's a lot of data in a database program like QuickBooks. So we need to be able to compress that and save it somewhere to kind of back up, of course, our data. So th these backup files then are going to be separate. We want to put them in a separate location and typically somewhere other than the hard drive. So we set up for our practice file here at the end of the day, what I'd like to do is take this backup file and I'd like to restore it. And then I would like to put the data file here in our QuickBooks data file. I'm going to put the backup file here so I know where my backup files are. And then, of course, the program uh, will be here. So remember that as you do this, you do not want the backup files in practice in the same location as your data files because that defeats the purpose of a backup file. But there might be some times when you would want that in, in terms of practicing so that we know what these three files look like. I want them in the same spot so that we know where they are. And then later on, once you understand them for your files, then make sure you put the backup files someplace other than the same C drive or hard drive where your data file is, like an external drive or on the cloud. Okay, so here's going to be our process. We're going to be opening up QuickBooks. Last time we had the sample file, so if you whatever... Uh, program you had open last time it will be it might go to the to the last file that you had opened now if you want to close that program you can go to the file drop down up top and you can simply close uh, the company file and that should bring you to a page like this what we want to do now is restore a file when you're in when you're in this location you can restore the file by going to open or restore here 
which I think a lot of people will typically use. I like using the file dropdown up top. And notice that even if you're in another company file, you can, instead of closing it and then going to something else, you can actually, it'll close automatically if you just simply go to the, the drop down up top and go to open or restore a company file. So that's why I like using the file drop down because it's there all the time, no matter what you are doing. So then I'm going to open that up. We get our little dialogue screen. It says, what type of file do you want to open? So do you want to open a company file, which is a QBW file? That's like the Word document kind of comparison to a Word, you know, our analogy here. That would be the thing that it could actually read. We're not opening one of those this time. We want to open a QBB file. It cannot read the QBB file without first de-uncompressing it, without uh, unzipping it, restoring it. So when I restore this, what's going to happen then is I'm, I'm going to take that, that uh, backup file and it's going to have to create another file for it. So it's actually going to create another file. So I'm going to say, hey, let's restore it. I want to make it a, a local, it's going to be a local backup because that means it's on my computer. So I, I'm going to locate it on the computer, on the C drive. So it's asking me where it is now. So I'm going to say, all right, it's on my desktop. And I'm going to go down to the this QuickBooks QBB file. Now remember, if this QBB file is in a zipped folder, then you want to take it out of the zipped folder. Open up the zipped folder, take it out of the zipped folder because you might have a problem restoring something that is, is currently in a zipped folder. So we did that last in the last presentation. You want to open up the zipped folder, drag it out of the zipped folder, put it on your desktop so it's somewhere in an unzipped location. And now, and I don't mean like this file itself, you can imagine as being zipped or compressed as a QBB file but it might further be in a, another folder, that folder being zipped, right? So if it's in a zipped folder, take the QBB file out of the zipped folder, and then uh, we can open it there. So I'm gonna double click on it. Uh, where do you want to restore it? Now we gotta put it somewhere because when I restore it, it's gonna create a, a QBW file, another file. So I'm gonna say, all right, I wanna restore it on this data file and this thing that we, this folder we made, and I want to have the QuickBooks data file right there. That's where I want it, where we put that. We put the sample file there last time. Now we're going to put this one here. Now you might want to like change the name because we're actually going to create Get Great Guitars in the second half of the course. So you might want to say this is Get Great Guitars um, beginning balance or navigation, navigation, or, you know, the starting quick uh, point, or you might put section one or something like that. So that it'll differentiate it from the next time when we actually create the Get Great Guitars file in the second half of the course and then cr and then construct this file. So you'll have two files with the same name uh, if, if you don't change the name. So I'm going to go ahead and save that. And this could take a little bit of time to decompress uh, the zipped file. There is a password on this file. Uh, so you want to make sure you get the password. It's called it's GGG capital GGG1234. So Get Great Guitars stands for that GGG capital GGG1234. Okay. And there it is. So typically it's got some stuff open right now. So typically I'll like maximize this screen. I'll go to the view drop down, open windows, and I don't need like the balance sheet, uh, the budget here. We'll do that later. It'll be fun. But we'll, we'll not talk about that now. We're, and this was basically the starting point. So we got the home page, open windows. That's where we'll start off like every time for the most part. So notice the data is going to be input for uh, January and February of 2021. So if you go to reports, company and financial, we'll do this later just to just to look at it now, though. The data is going to be there at 02, uh, 022821. So there, there's going to be our two months worth of data that'll be in here and we'll construct that as we go. Now let's take a look at where what happened when we cr constructed or created or unzipped this file. Notice we have the backup file still here. We've got obviously the QuickBooks program. The data file it, we now housed in this folder on the QuickBooks data file. So we created another file and that file, if I make this uh, a little bit larger here, let's make this a little bit larger. We created this file so no we created <laughs> this file get great guitars navigation now this is a qbw file as a compo as compared to the qbb file so remember when you restore the file quickbooks cannot just simply read the qbb file you have to restore it which will then create another file which will then be the qbw file this is kind of like in our analogy to microsoft word and documents this is like the document this is the thing that could actually be read by QuickBooks. This is the thing that we're actually changing. This QBB file is a static file that has been backed up at a particular point in time and can only be restored. It can't be changed at all. It can only be restored to that point in time. And whenever you do so, 
you will then create a new a new qbw file which is kind of like a document file which can then be changed something that can be read in a similar way that a word document can be read by the microsoft word program so notice again all this other like when you put this into a new folder you'll get this other junk i think you can just delete this other stuff but i don't do it because i don't want to you know accidentally delete something but i think all you need is this actual file just remember you want to make sure that you save your data files into a folder that just has data files in them so that you don't have this other junk floating around like say on your desktop because it's kind of a pain to have all this other junk floating around on your desktop if you were to open a file to it so uh so i recommend saving it to a folder such as uh this so in future presentations now we're going to use this data file to practice the navigation process when we already have data in the system now to practice how to how to get through the system we're not going to be adding any new data if you want to practice starting a new company file from scratch uh, remember that's in the second half of the course when we will construct this data file so this will be the ending product that we will do starting in the second half of the course when we construct the data file again if you want to jump to that point if you're if you're making a new data file and you're saying hey i just want to start this thing out and just start entering data then <laughs> then go to the second half of the course and you could and we'll start doing that now before we wrap up here i'm gonna i'm gonna minimize this i would like to move this backup file to to the backup location we put in this ggg file to have it removed from our desktop so i'm just gonna cut this i'm gonna right click and cut it so i'm gonna cut it i'm gonna go into the ggg file here and I'm going to put that in the backup files. So I'm going to put that in our, our backup files. So there it is here. So now, again, you don't want these in practice in the same location, but, but it's useful for our purposes here. So we've got the QuickBooks file. We've got the data files here. These are the ones that we can actually open. And then the backup files, which will be static backups, which if we need to get to that static point in time, we'll have to restore it, which will create another QBW file.